Hey everybody, I want to do a little update here on my new crayfish tank. If you're not familiar with this, it is a brand new tank I've just set up. It's only four or five days old at this point, haven't really been keeping track. Uh, but it's not cycled in at all. And I've been thinking more about it, and I should probably talk a little bit about the way I am going to allow the nitrogen cycle to happen in this tank. If you look at my filter here, uh, that is sort of a hollow container that has some openings in the bottom that's actually underneath the gravel at the moment and as the water goes in it simply has to pass through a couple of my little filter pads made out of the uh, you know the polyfill batting and then it just goes into a little circulation pump that pumps it up a little three or four inch hose and then it spits it out at the top through a little cavity that makes it look natural but prevents any animals from crawling up in there and that's as simple as it is it's really nothing in there other than that now I suppose I could put some bio balls or something like that in there and just have them inside there but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let this tank take care of itself. I'm just going to let it cycle itself in and it's going to be in the gravel, it's going to be on the rocks, it's going to be on the plants, it's going to be everywhere in there. And when I say it, I'm referring to the various species of nitrifying bacteria that actually cause your cycle to work. It's what breaks the ammonia down uh, and eventually ends it up as nitrates in your tank. I'm not going to get into the, how the cycle works at the moment. But I've got an ammonia test blooming and I've got a nitrite test blooming right now. So we're going to go over in a minute and see what they look like. But first, I also want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the tank. Um, my astute viewers will notice that my Creeping Jenny over here looks a whole lot better than it did yesterday. I'm not sure why, but the first batch I put in there did not take. Uh, did not take at all. It was all shriveled up and it was beginning to look terrible. This side, you can see, looks great. Um, it's actually even beginning to turn upwards and grow towards the light. Um, not unhappy with this side at all. My hosta actually looks like it's springing back a little bit. And then the sensitive fern here, when I get it actually in the light a little more, you can see it. Um, that's starting to spring back and look pretty good. Sorry for all that squeaky noise. I hope that wasn't drowning my voice out. Uh, my stone crop there will turn back up eventually. Stone crop is tough as nails. I'm not worried about that at all. That's that sort of bluish gray stuff on both corners there. Um, what I did today was I took some more Creeping Jenny from the garden and I cut it a little more carefully and I planted it a little more carefully and I spaced it a little more carefully and I also removed if you can see that in there, which I don't think you can, but I had a great big piece of temple plant stuffed in the back there, and it was just too much, you know. Uh, I'd like to put one of everything in there. I really do like a nice lush planted tank, uh, but I also want to see the crayfish, and this has just got so much going on in there, and it's only a little 10-gallon tank, um, so I decided to take that temple plant out. Uh, that Creeping Jenny will fill in quite a bit. The plant here has been identified by one of my viewers. It is a... Um, Oh, I can't even remember the name of it now. It's an arrowhead plant. Um, so that will do nicely. It is indeed related to a philodendron, as I thought. And as long as I've got it in nice oxygenated water, that should do nicely and start rooting in and growing. Uh, so that should be very interesting. And then, of course, the last little piece of aquatic plant I have in there is a java fern. You can see in the back tucked between the two rocks. So by now, my tests are done blooming. So we're going to go on over and have a look. And today, we're going to find out whether any nitrates are beginning to develop. Uh, in which case we'll know we are beginning to move through the process uh, but I still suspect we're going to find a lot of ammonia in there despite the fact that I did a full water change I drained the water all the way down to the gravel uh, about 10 hours ago it hasn't even been 12 hours yet so let's go see how much ammonia has built up in the last 10 hours and let's see if we're starting to get any nitrates in the last 10 hours as well alright wow that is a lot of nitrate that has built up since this morning uh, that's quite a lot of ammonia too. I was expecting the ammonia uh, to be way up there. I don't know how well that's coming out. This, these colors never come out right. Uh, suffice it to say that when it looks like lime Kool-Aid, uh, that's a lot of ammonia. We're probably looking at more than four parts per million, maybe getting up towards four parts per million. Uh, that is coming down. Um, it was a lot higher than that in a single day period uh, as of two days ago. The nitrites here, as purple as that is, I'm going to call that half a part per million. That's not as bad as it actually looks. Uh, but half a part per million is still nitrites. And if nitrites are showing up, that means my cycle is beginning. I am beginning to develop the bacteria that eats this 
and converts it to this. Now I just need to let the bacteria that eats this build up and that will convert it into nitrates and that will be the full cycle. So I'm well underway and I did put a little starter culture in there so that's actually showing its effects already. So let's go back over and have one last look at the tank. I'll throw some shrimp pellets in there and maybe we'll coax a couple of those crayfish out. Alright, we got some drama already. If you see the crayfish in the front here, he's already missing a claw. I know he looks like he's the biggest crayfish in the tank, and he's pretty close. He's comparable in size to the one that you can see creeping out of the cave off just to his right and in front of him. There he comes. Now this one just sloughed here not long ago, and while he was still soft shell, this one over here, this larger one, tore his claw and one of his legs off and presumably ate it. I don't know why else he would have torn his legs off. So this one is now uh, hardened up, so he's got a nice, good, stiff, solid exoskeleton, um, but he's only got one claw, so he's still at a disadvantage over this one that is nearly just as big. Uh, so this one is still watching his P's and Q's. He comes out in the open. He's pretty bold. Uh, you can see one crayfish in the back there. That's the next largest down. And somewhere in here is a fairly small one, unless they've already killed and eaten that one. I actually haven't seen it today, so I don't know if it's still in there or not. Uh, these guys are really aggressive, and they're really territorial. Uh, I've said before, there's no way in the long term we're going to be able to keep four of these guys in this tank. They will fight to the death eventually. So I was going to say we're going to see some more action right here now. So this is certainly a fun tank to sit and watch. I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, part of it, of course, is the novelty. It's a new tank, and I get to sit here and have some new experiences watching the crayfish. But I really like crayfish. I always have. I think they're really, really interesting animals. They're super industrious. All they do is roam around the tank, building things, looking for things, moving rocks around, digging holes, defending territory, fighting with each other. Uh, they're just really neat little animals. They're really, really interesting animals to watch. And you can set up a fairly interesting little habitat for them in a fairly small area as well. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up and call that a video. Look for plenty more to come. Again, this is a fun little tank. I've been having a lot of fun watching it. So I'm, of course, going to be shooting a lot of video uh, while we go along. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so now. That way you won't miss anything i got coming up because I do have some other stuff going on as well. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.